Hey everybody, happy Monday. Right now, you can picture us at Daytona Bike Week on Main Street somewhere having a beer because that's what I thought I was gonna do today. It was nice and sunny outside and wrapped up work on time and thought for sure I'd travel up that way. And then I thought about it and I had to answer comments on videos. And I do love when people comment on videos but I was about four days behind, so it just took me over two hours to respond back to folks. <laughs> so um, I apologize for not getting back to folks sooner, but on the other hand, I didn't go up to bike week because I am kind of exhausted, and after two days of uh, being out in the sun all day long, I needed a break. So uh, maybe get up there tomorrow for a little bit, but I think it's supposed to rain. We'll see how things go after work. And I know the flower and garden thing is going on at Epcot, and uh, we haven't been over there yet either, but I think I want to wait for a weekend for that because the concerts are only on the weekends from what I can see, so we'll skip that. Everybody gave us great feedback on the Disneyland um, rides and what we need to hit and everything like that, so I'm going to look to try to make reservations at one of the restaurants that folks talked about. Everybody kind of pimped out um, Blue Bayou and the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, so we got to check that out. Um, and what else can I tell you? I got a massive sunburn yesterday, so I don't think I talked, well maybe I did say that in the video at the end of yesterday, but um, it only got worse like overnight. You ever know like when a sunburn is bad and you can see it when you get home, but then it just continues to soak into your skin until you eventually go to sleep or go take a shower and like I am beyond mad at myself for doing this because now I have like a splitting headache and everything else. I'm just total pain the whole day today. Hey, we had a bunch of comments on the Orlando soccer um, video and also via Twitter yesterday. So um, a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Um, one thing is that the opening game yesterday was 62,500 people. Huge, especially for an Orlando sport or Central Florida sport. However, where everybody, I know folks are saying that they want to go visit and uh, when they visit, go see the team play. Um, the normal attendance for the games, because if you watch the video from yesterday, you'll see that the upper deck was filled up, and that's kind of what took on the 62,000. But normal um, games are not going to have that upper deck filled. I believe that they're capping attendance for most games, and I might butcher some of these numbers, so you might want to Google or check out the Orlando City uh, webpage just to be sure. But I believe the normal attendance for games at the Citrus Bowl for this season is going to be about 20,000 people. So... Keep in mind, there's almost 14,000 season tickets sold for every game, obviously. That only leaves a few thousand tickets for folks that want to buy. So if you're interested in going, they're not going to open that other section of the stadium, at least as of now, for the other games. The other thing that should be noted is that this is the only year that they're going to play at the Citrus Bowl. So in um, next year and in years after, they're building that brand new stadium. So if you rewind way back to like... October time period or November, I think it's October, I filmed a video doing the march from downtown Orlando to the groundbreaking for the new stadium. That stadium will be ready for next season. So 2016 games will be at the new stadium. The attendance for that stadium is only right now scheduled to be 19,000 people. And they will still have the same amount of season ticket holders. So the uh, possibility of getting tickets for them after this season becomes even more difficult. So um, one thing that they talked about on the news today is that they're revisiting the amount of seats that they would build for the new stadium. They could potentially build up to like 25 to 27,000 seats instead of the 19,000 seats that they're planning. So that's in the works. But I'll let you guys know. I don't know when we're going to get back to another match. I, th I would love to go to the next match, but I believe it's sold out already. But I think would like to see about trying to get to um, one of the games or matches in um, the May time period because April is kind of a wash for us. So Mary is going to model this other cup that we bought yesterday. So just so you should know, <laughs> in the fan zone, we paid $10 for one single Heineken <laughs> tall boy, but they gave you this cup. And the special thing about this cup is not the Heineken logo on the front. Woo! It's that it has this printed on it, so I'm going to zoom in here. <laughs> there you go. So, I thought that was worthwhile for the 10 bucks. It's like a solo cup, but this is actually a hard cup. Yeah, so it's it hard. it can be stuff. washed. <laughs> Although we'll probably just put it on the shelf with our other uh, memorabilia. 
And the other thing we got tonight, in the spirit of trying not to cook, so we can clean up a little bit, because we didn't have a chance over the weekend, is disgusting Papa John's pizza. And the reason why I say it's disgusting, it's like fast food pizza. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. This is nowhere near like what qualifies as pizza in my book from New York. But the one thing I can say is that um, the other Orlando team, the Orlando Magic, have a deal with Papa John's that if they win, you get 50% off of your pizzas the following day or anything that you order from Papa John's. So they won yesterday. They played the Celtics in Star Wars Day, which I would have been at if we weren't at the soccer match. But um, we'll eat some 50% off pizza and I'll sure I'll feel 100% sick later on. By the way, check out this new drum set. This was a find at Cracker Barrel the other day. Desktop. And it's meant for uh, me to annoy people on conference calls at work. Yeah. Right now, it's really annoying this guy. Not to be outdone by this guy. Let's see his face. Check it out. Sammy wants to play the drums. No? Hey, it's time for bed. Sorry guys, there's not a lot for today, so we'll probably just pick this up and continue tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, and I wanted to just tie out a couple loose ends from the video yesterday, um, because it didn't really have an end. But, um, I listened to everybody's suggestions from the video we put up about going to Disneyland and asking for suggestions on what to hit. It looks like Matterhorn is going to be closed for the time that we're at Disneyland, or at uh, Star Wars Celebration and able to get to Disneyland. Um, so we won't be able to go on that. Um, but I am planning to try to get a fast pass first for Cars Land. Um, I want to be able to hit like California Screaming. Indiana Jones is top on the list. And most importantly, a bunch of folks responded about um, trying to get into Blue Bayou. And we made a reservation for dinner at Blue Bayou for the day that we want to go. So that worked out really well. But it looks like, based on hours now, probably the first day uh, that we get into um, Anaheim, which is the day before the, uh, the con, uh, we'll have about um, six hours, I'm sorry, six hours, about eight hours um, worth of time that we can spend at the park. And of course now we've booked um, food reservations, so we take about an hour away from that, so we need to be able to hit things rapid speed. And then the following day, uh, we probably would have even less time at the park as well, so we're hoping to just try to make up anything that uh, we didn't get the first day so it's going to be super busy but i am super excited and i'm very thankful for everybody in your suggestions and uh, tips uh, on what to do at the parks and everything so that's really awesome um and as always like you know i we constantly get stopped when we're at the parks either at disney or universal or sea world over here if you guys see us over there please more than uh, anything say hello to us even if you see us at star wars celebration that would be completely awesome so we're looking for we're looking forward to a really awesome uh, vacation over there and it's the first real um, type of way that we've had uh, pleasure wise out of Florida in years because I always think of the fact that we live in like the vacation capital of the world it really doesn't make sense most of the time for us to leave here um, especially when everybody else is telling us how much they want to come here so I'm um, really looking forward to getting over there and not having to do like day work and um, having vacation time and stuff so thank you very much everybody and on that note just to try to tie this video out since this is Tuesday now already um, thanks for all the likes and the comments and the subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great day I'll see you guys tomorrow or today Let's check out the video later thanks bye